So the European Regional Foresight College is an organization, an association that have uh, this uh, main four uh, targets or aims is to promote regional foresight in, in the European regions, uh, to create a community of skills, concepts, methods and practices in regional foresight, uh, to organize a European network, uh, monitoring and exchanging information on developments in, in European territories, and contribute to the collective learning, uh, to share experiences, to uh, share knowledge, and to try to uh, improve these ongoing strategies at, at the European region, uh, regional level. Um, we, we started in, in 2009, we started um, what we, we thought it could be very important to have some kind of study visits to different regions in, in Europe to see how they were performing their territorial foresight strategies and how we could start a common learning process uh, for the regions to uh, reinforce their, their approaches and their strategies. Most of the, of the members of the European Regional Foresight College are also uh, members of the Millennium Project. What is the Millennium Project? Maybe some of you have heard already. It is a new kind of think tank uh, that is, um, in, in our approach, is, it's, it's uh, global geographically, institutionally, and uh, subject focus. So it was created in 96, 1996. And um, after a three years feasibility study, and now it's made of 46 nodes uh, all over the world. Let me talk to you a little bit about the uh, committee of the regions, because two years ago we started uh, uh, some kind of consultancy work for uh, the committee of the regions. You, you know, it's it's one of the big institutions in, in Europe, even if it's a consultative institution. Um, well, the committee um, was um, looking for doing an, a big assessment of what was going, uh, what, what, what was done in terms of territorial foresight in, in Europe by, by the regions and by the local authorities, which are the, the main stakeholders in, in the committee uh, right now. And we were uh, assessing more than 200 uh, experiences and exercises uh, all over Europe, uh, from cities, regions, big cities, small cities, and, and so on. Uh, so I, I really invite you to, to go to the website of the Committee of the Regions and, and check if you are interested in, in this territorial best practices because there are very good uh, recommendations for cities that are planning to start such such strategies. Um, uh, so as you know, we are facing a new uh, framework uh, in the European Union uh, for the next uh, seven years. And this uh, framework uh, means that uh, uh, the EU is having a new budget uh, for, for these seven years uh, of more than uh, 1,000 billion euros. Um, it, within this budget, uh, you see that there is a, a big, uh, big uh, um, part of the of the budget being invested in the uh, common agricultural policy. But I would like to highlight that there are three clear uh, chapters where there will be a lot of funding for strategies related to smart cities, uh, EU new uh, smart growth strategies, and, and so on. So this is the, let's say, the uh, field of opportunities for, for the cities in the next, in the next years. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit uh, about, the, um, about these, these chapters. So we have the cohesion funds. Uh, I think Diana already mentioned some of these of these lines. There will be a big focus on, uh, of course, on research and innovation, but also on ICT issues. A big focus again, like like it was in the in the previous periods, to, in, into SMEs, uh, of course, because they are uh, the big players in 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 the enterprise uh, level in in Europe. Um, th there is a big, also very big focus, and you know, cohesion policy. This is the second biggest chapter in the in the budget uh, in uh, for the next period. Also in low carbon low low carbon economy strategies. So everything related to environmental sustainability is going to still be very uh, key in the in the future. And of course, uh, climate change adaptation, environmental protection, and and so on. Um, 
Well, there is a, a second chapter that is the Connecting Europe facility. Um, this is not so big uh, in terms of funding, but it's it's also very core for the European Union. Uh, we are talking about uh, transport core uh, network, uh, energy priority uh, corridors, and key digital infrastructure. So this is not so much at uh, regional or city level focus, but it's also very relevant in terms of um, the regional strategies. And then we had uh, the third one that uh, Diana already uh, mentioned, that, that is the uh, Horizon 2020 or uh, eighth framework program, uh, which will have a 80 billion uh, euros uh, budget in the next uh, seven years. So there are many, many working lines related to a smart growth, smart cities like uh, industrial leaderships and competitive, competitive uh, frameworks and, and ICT strategies and, and so on. On. Um, in this framework, uh, you know, uh, within the um, uh, Europe 2020 strategy, uh, there will uh, one of the uh, flagship initiatives is the uh, European Innovation Union, and under this uh, flagship initiative, uh, we will uh, th there will be different um, partnerships. One of them being very related to uh, smart cities. So I think this is a very good opportunity to start thinking uh, uh, and in, in your own strategies about uh, having a clear focus on, 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 on a smart. Um, <clears throat> There is a European uh, 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 Smart Cities and Communities Stakeholder Platform, which I, I really invite you to, to check. Uh, that could be a good, a good beginning for a, a Smart City uh, strategy. Um, there is also a roadmap, uh, uh, 2020 uh, European Smart City Roadmap, uh, where there will be um, uh, this demonstration projects, uh, which could be also an, an opportunity for any European cities to try to be there and to to try to get the new the new uh, the new funding and the new support on on that. And and, and I also like very much this this uh, national uh, program in in Austria, where they they are supporting the smart cities um, um, approaches and strategies, but from a territorial foresight approach. Um, because, I mean, smart cities could be also just a brand. Uh, we are doing some efficiency gains, we are doing some digital strategies, and we are, we are talking about the smart strategy. Um, I think it's good to have a clear uh, systemic approach, an integral approach, where all our city strategies are related to uh, the whole uh, overall uh, framework, not only to some thematic uh, issues on, on that. How regions are trying to fulfill the EU 2020 targets? Because with, within the EU 2020 targets, uh, there are very ambitious uh, objectives. Uh, we have to reduce our um, uh, energy consumption 20%. We have to use 20% uh, quota of, of renewable energies. I mean, they are very, very ambitious objectives. So there should be a clear um, link in between city strategies and these this, uh, targets. Uh, so Amsterdam was quite a, quite a good example on, on how they are integrating the EU objectives on their long-term strategy. Um, of course, they are not only thinking in long term, but they are also bringing that to the short term, to the short and medium term, uh, with clear roadmaps uh, on what to do in the different uh, aspects, in the different fields of the city, in, in the urban planning, in the energy uh, um, field. Uh, also, mobility is, is, is key for, for, for any city. Uh, and of course, they are also uh, uh, developing their own action plans. Uh, it's not only having a very long, uh, term strategy with the scenarios, but also bringing them to, to uh, um, short-term uh, action plans. 